Empire Sports. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get a bye week. We should be fresh. We should be able to get a well-rested week. Richard Sherman should be back. And Raheem Mostert should be back pretty soon. I mean, I think he should be back this coming week against the Rams. Debo should be good to go. I mean, updated by injuries. We've been lucky to just play through the season. But I think we're just going to have to win out the rest of the games. I mean, even if we lose one game, we still have a chance to even make the playoffs. But realistically... I think we're just only going to win six games. And don't take it the wrong way. I just see us only beating the Washington football and the Dallas Cowboys. Those are two of the trashiest teams we can actually have a chance to beat. And, and no offense to the Dallas Cowboys, but when you don't have a defense and you're on to your third-string quarterback and our defense can pretty much match up well with their offense, I mean, even with a third-string quarterback... I think they'll still play a decent game against us with these kind of injuries. But Washington football, you're questioning them. Sure, they got a good defensive line talent. Offensively, they're young. But you should be able to beat those two teams right there. I don't know about division. It, maybe the Rams, we might even sweep them. Because we seem to own the Rams. That's the reason why we might even win seven or more. But I think we're only going to win six. I just think the only divisional game we're going to win is the Rams, and that's it. Everything else is pretty much we're getting swept. So, yeah, realistically, realistically, we're just we're going by our depth and, and getting players to audition for next year because we're getting looks out of Jordan Willis, who we just acquired in a trade, and we'll see what he can do. Kerry Hyder's standing out a little bit. He's showing some promise. So maybe we could bring him back next year for a multi-year deal. He actually deserves to be here. Jordan Reed, when healthy, maybe we could give him a reasonable contract to come back again. Trent Williams, give him a multi-year contract. I mean, he's actually he's actually a suitable replacement for Joe Staley. So you can't go wrong with that. And as far as the situation, I don't think Garoppolo's going anywhere. What makes a lot of sense for the Niners is if if we're not sure about Garoppolo long term, you can always go draft a quarterback and let him learn behind Jimmy Garoppolo for at least a year or two before you move on with Garoppolo. So then you don't have to rush the young quarterback, and the young quarterback will be ready to go when Garoppolo's gone, you know? That's how it works. If you want to build your offense the right way, but a lot of rumors are saying that the reason why our offense hasn't been able to take the next level is because Shanahan's offense is is limited because of Garoppolo's ability or something like that. So, I don't know, man. I mean, if Garoppolo can play like he did the previous years, then I think he'll be really good. But he's just having an off year because of injuries and because of the way he's playing. I think it's too much pressure for him. I think we're just doing too much. But this guy's a capable starter. But it's just been injuries. It's been holding him back. It's He's injury prone. So, I don't know if he'd be the answer long term, but we're getting a look at a Nick Mullins, and Nick Mullins is just nothing more than a backup quarterback at best. Running backs, we should be able to get Mostert and Coleman back, so that should be good, even though uh, Jermichael Hesse broke his collarbone. I mean, defensively, we're going through injuries too, you know. Quan Williams out for the season. We're going with Jamar Taylor. Uh... Sherman should be back, so that's going to boost our secondary a little bit better. Maybe we'll match up against those big receivers that we need to freaking shut down because they've been having their way against our small DBs. Even without Tart, Marcel Harris isn't doing too bad. I think as far as overall, Jimmy Ward, he's only a great tackler, really good tackler, but just coverage-wise, he gets beat from time to time. That's what I question about Ward. He isn't worth the contract. We should have just let him go and actually draft a safety or try to go in for Jamal Adams, but we never did that. So we fucked up right there. So the biggest mistake we made in the offseason was letting Buckner go in the trade. We should have let Armstead walk and actually kept Buckner. But then again, we move on and learn from it. Javon Kinlaw, he's all right. He's a work in progress, so you got to give him time. Ayuk is good as advertising. He's really good. I think he's really a really good natural receiver. He's got the skills to separate. 
He's got the skills to make the contestant catches. He he has the best yards after the catch. He's a little bit different in Debo, but he's got that feistiness in him to make the big plays. So I like that that he's actually standing out. And as far as Quan Alexander being traded, I know some of you Niner fans are saying, why did we trade him in the first place? Well, he wasn't producing. He wasn't living up to the contract. I mean, if you're not going to live up to the $13 million contract that you signed the last offseason, then you got to go. Dre Greenlaw is, is playing far better than him, and that's why we trade him. Why do you want to pay $13 million on a guy who's not producing? Would you rather play that guy who gets beaten coverage and can't fucking tackle? Or would you rather go cheaper on a guy who's actually making clutch tackles and actually doing solid in coverage? I stick with number 57. He's really good. He's very underrated. And nobody's talking about him. And he, he's actually made some good key plays, especially against Seattle. The interception where it could have got us to win that game. And then that game-saving tackle in Seattle, he's clutch. Anytime he plays on the field, he tackles. He makes plays. He's like a, he's a, he's kind of like a guy who's got a lot of heart on the field. Then you got Fred Warner, who's our leader of our defense. Really good player. We definitely need to give him a contract extension. This guy deserves to be here long term because he's a proven linebacker. For those three years, he's looking really good. So I say, give him a damn contract. Pay the man. Pay the man. So. The Empire Sports is out. Go Niners.